Welcome back everybody to another episode of Mike and Tires. For anybody new here, I'm Mike. And I got a little story for everyone. So I bought an F-150, if you saw my last episode. If you haven't, check it out, link right up here. Bought a pickup truck, went to, went to use it like a truck, manly style. You know, got my honeydew list of projects I gotta do around the house. So I figured, let's take the truck and go buy some stuff so I can get these projects done. So I went to the store, bought what I needed, went to throw it in the bed of the truck, and realized I got one major problem. I have no bed liner. Now I don't want to scratch up the bed of my truck because, well, it's a nice truck, so I started looking. There's a few things on this truck that keep it from being a Platinum Series truck. So, yeah, I'm gonna start a little series what should we call it? Going platinum. Making a platinum series F-150 a platinum series truck. Going platinum. Starting with a new bed liner. So I hit the internet, just boom, started looking around. Finally found something I really like. And this is what I come up with. So this is what I found. Dual liner, or dual liner. Dual liner. Make sure I get that right. This is a system we're gonna put in the truck. According to their website, it's real quick and easy. So let's find out how easy it is really to put it in. Open her up. So far, I like this quite a bit. Dual liner logo, standard hard plastic. Already recognizing this show I have to, I'm gonna have, but we'll get with that and just tackle that when we get there. All right, let's see uh, how good the instructions are. Read all instructions. Pretty straightforward. Got some extra hardware here. All my little snaps and bushings and things. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this. So after reading the instructions and going through a few things, normally this install would be pretty simple, but I run into a few unique problems. First problem is I have a tonneau cover. I'm gonna to have to remove it or slightly loosen it to be actually be able to put it in, which complicates things a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Problem number two. I have bed extenders. This bed extender needs to be taken out so I can put in problem number three. Again, this is going to be my tonneau cover. It's so wrong, I like this tonneau cover. But, right here. This little hose right there. I got two of them, one on each side. Those are for draining the water from the rails from the extender. There aren't holes for those hoses either, so I'm going to drill holes in those as well because of this particular tonic cover. So it's going to go from a 30 minute install, maybe take me an hour. See how long it takes. So 
So now in the instructions, it did mention I had to take those out. What I forgot to mention was I have to also take out the side hooks that hold on that for your ratchet straps and things like that. So that guy right there. Now I gotta figure out how to get this tonic cover off, or at least the only thing I gotta take it all the way off, just loosen it enough that I can get the get everything. The sides will be fine, it should pop right in with those. But the front, because it'll lip over the edge. the drill on this side and that's going to be for the bolt for my tailgate extender but what's nice is I did mention in the instructions but also I can get close enough here there's a dimple right there and there specifically for those holes to so give you a nice and easy location to drill. With the rubber mat because it's too thick. Not too sure. Gotta to to figure this out. Ah. Gotta stay hydrated. It's hot, hot, hot. Just shy of 90 degrees today here in Florida. And laying on that, putting the the bed liner in, whoo! It was warm. All right, so my overall thoughts on the dual liner. I'm really happy with it. Installed very clean, and the dual liner actually installed very easily. The only thing that made my life more challenging was the accessories I already had on the truck. I was trying to install the dual liner without taking the bed cover off 100%. I should've just taken it all off in the beginning, would've saved myself so much more time instead of trying to fuss around with it and just put it, get it in the right way. The big things that took me longer were I had to drill the extra holes on the front for the two, the two drain tubes I had to install. And that was no fault of dual liner. They can't plan for that. That's, that's just happened to be the type of cover that I have. Being that I do photography, 
cinematography, and I carry a lot of the equipment with me on the regular. Plus, I like to keep a little toolbox in the bed of my truck on the regular. That's why I didn't change the, the cover. It helps seal everything up really well. Then dual liner came with the rubber mat, which is what I really wanted in the first place to install this. That way things don't slide around. I put them there, they stay there. I don't have to use a million tie straps and ratchet straps in there. They hold everything down. Only thing if I was gonna correct for a dual liner is and they really can't fix it. They put dimples where I need to drill the holes for my bed extender. Those holes didn't line up with the dimples. Now it was close, so it got me a really close proximity. So that was great, and I get it. Different bed lengths, the injection molds and everything that they use to make everything, it you can't get it perfect, there's no way. But it was really close. But I ended up having to actually take a Dremel tool in the end and Dremel the, hole, the holes a little bit oblong and a little bit around and a little bit bigger in order to get it to work properly. Was it a big deal? No. Did it take long? No, it was plastic. It took too, no time at all. This is something that if you're going to install one of these, it's no real good way that I know of to line up the holes and drill it the first time out with no issues. If I was installing the dual liner on only a basic truck without all the extra accessories, I probably could have had the whole thing done in 45 minutes to an hour and that's just taking my time because it's really hot. I had to stop and take extra breaks. As far as build quality for the dual liner, I really like it. I'm really happy with the build quality. Most bed liners that come factory are very flimsy, very thin. The sides and the front are actually quite a bit, quite a bit thicker to the possibly, I would say even three times thicker than your standard bed liner that come factory. I have no doubt that they're gonna last the life of the truck with no issues and take a beating because I'm gonna use the truck like a truck. I'm gonna throw things in the bed on the regular house projects like I was doing before, picking up cinder blocks and things like that nature, I need something that's gonna hold up to that for a long period of time. If something gets underneath the liner, I can easily pull the liner out and rinse it all out, put the, let it dry and put the liner back, no problem. The rubber liner that goes on the bottom is actually very thick, it feels very durable. Had a little bit of a bow in it when I got done with it, but I also, I just unraveled it. I didn't let it lay out and lay flat so when I went through the website, they made a comment that, you know, I should have, it was even in the instructions that I went and reread it at the very end. I should have, as tips and tricks, let the liner out, heat up in the sun, and it would have flattened out. Now in the bed, it'll eventually flatten out with the heat. No problem. As far as install, very easy. Uh, if you have the extra accessories, it gets a little more difficult, but out of a 10, 10 being the most difficult, one being the easiest, I give this a three for install. If I just had to take off the, the four tie downs and pop, put and slide these in, that would be a cakewalk. Now, just to be clear, dual liner does come in different sizes. So if you have the six and a half foot bed, eight foot beds, they do have bed liners available for those, a variety of trucks. And they normally they do come with a tailgate rubber mat you can install. But being as my truck has the built-in step in the tailgate, I opted not to get that piece because I'd have to modify it. They don't really make an actual piece just for that, which is fine with me, because I use that step quite often getting out of, in and out of the bed. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next episode.